It's a prototype that isn't just political posturing or marketing hype. It exists and it works. As soon as we powered on the tablet, we were astounded as it flashed Android, as opposed to the rumors that it is Linux based. But that wasn't all. The fact that the tablet handled the Android OS fairly smoothly was a surprise. The tablet is Wi-Fi enabled, which made our first browsing experience simple and quick. $35 it may be, but it's a fairly impressive little package. Outside has a rugged rubberized, if slightly thick feel. On the top left are button controls. The sides have a mini and full USB, a mini SD card slot, a SIM card slot, a video out and headphone jack. The touch screen is a bit slow to respond as it's layered by resistive type. With 2 GB RAM, the tablet's basically targeted at students who can play multimedia content effectively. So from accessing audiovisual course material to online lectures, the tablet can handle it all. It is probably the cheapest innovation of all times, a much needed gadget that will have a widespread impact beyond just technology. For a prototype that has been built indigenously and debated globally, if all goes well, then this $35 tablet could put India into a new league as a provider of the first true low-cost education device to make children of this world learn.